comes Christian York and Mike Quackenbush with the palm thrust on Cicero. Everything is breaking loose right off the bat. Christian York and Mike Quackenbush really coming to reckless aid as all these junior heavyweights, they've had so many battles with each other, they respect each other so much that they're all coming to each other's aid. And now here come more high society members. Here come the intimidators, Mark and Troy Metz, adding to the advantage for high society. Now, by my count, it's a six on three situation. Eight if you count Mark Metz. Wait a minute. up a little bit. When the smoke cleared, Christian York was down. member of the Dope Show, along with Lord Goldhan and Shirley Doe. Vampire, a very tough, very eccentric young junior heavyweight. Vladimir Vampire going up against a newcomer to Steel City Wrestling tonight in Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, very accomplished independent wrestler. Looks like Cousin It joining the Star Trek crew out there. a very tough opponent about to make his way out here and there he is strap iron adam pierce has held numerous titles across the independence fluctuates between being a heavyweight wrestler and a light heavyweight wrestler as his, he's about 235 240 pounds skips around he's won numerous light heavyweight titles down in the mid-south heavyweight champion in the midwest up in the milwaukee area and he is definitely going to make a big impact on steel city wrestling introducing first from the Dope Show, Neil Drummidian, weighing in tonight at 185 pounds, Vladimir Vampire. And his opponent, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 242 pounds, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Your referee, Mr. Larry P. Now we've seen Scrap Iron Adam Pierce wrestle on a couple of Steel City shows in May, and you, Dave Prezak, were actually managing him at the time. And it's the first time we've seen him in this building at the FCW Arena. 
Pierce Adam firing back. Taking it to Vladimir Van Pier in the corner. However, it looks like he went to the eyes there. Vladimir starting out brawling here, but going to the eyes, put him on the advantage and chops him down with a nice clothesline. Van Pier setting up Pierce right now for a fisherman suplex. Two and Pierce barely kicking out there. He's not going to take care of Strap Iron Adam Pierce that easily. Tough competitor. And there, Adam Pierce fighting back out of the corner, turns it around, and Vladimir Van Pierre now in a world of hurt. Pierce telling everybody he's going to chop him, and he came through on his promise. And now Iris Whip reversed by Van Pierre. Pierce over and hanging on to the corner, and clocks him with a big right hand. Pierce showing some area ability here with a drop kick. Right on the mark. Adam Pierce, not just a power wrestler, he's a big guy, can do a lot of high flying stuff as well. And right here, Superplexes him over. One, two, and Vampire kicks out. Referee took a few seconds too long to get into position there. But Adam Pierce definitely going a threat to Vladimir Vampire. Oh, wow! Kick, kick right to the face. Boy, Pierce, we knew he had the power repertoire. But he's showing a lot more aerial stuff than I expected, Dave. Yeah, like I said, he fluctuates between being a light heavyweight wrestler, doing that kind of style, junior heavyweight style matches, and he can also take it to the heavyweight wrestlers as well. Boot to the gut and down he goes. Adam Pierce looking very good here against Dope Show member Vladimir Vamp here. And it looks and like he's setting him up for that jumping pile driver. Uh-oh, this could hurt. There it is! And he hits it. And Adam Pierce wins, and I'm going to go interview him. Adam Pierce Vladimir making Vladimir easy work Vladimir of Vladimir Van Pierce. Adam Pierce, congratulations. We've heard about your reputation in Chicago, Michigan, and it looks like you've made a very good start here in Steel City Wrestling. Well, first of all, I'd like to say everybody in here, I'm happy to be in the Steel City. Thank you for having me. And you probably, probably the best crowd I've been in here for a long time. So give yourself a big round of applause. And now it's taking two referees and some security to pull these two men apart. Man, Adam Pierce luckily sliding out of the ring and the referee's trying to hold back Lou Marconi. So Adam Pierce winning his debut match at the Steel City Wrestling Arena, but he has immediately made a powerful enemy in beef stew Lou Marconi. <laughs> Your 
organization looking for a unique fundraising event? Well, Steel City Wrestling is the answer. We are the most successful professional wrestling promotion in the Pittsburgh area, and we have helped many organizations profit from our success in promoting Steel City Wrestling. Call us at 412-734-8454 and leave your name and telephone number, and we will be in touch to discuss details of your organization running a Steel City Wrestling fundraising event. Hey, I'll give you a hot dog if you'll 
shut up, you pig. Anyway, check it out. Both of those TV tapings, the Daphne one was in a ring with these two hooks. Had it up and for Terry Falls with the Bright Lights in the arena last night, I would have beat you both very simply. But you see, I'll tell you where this is going, you clown. I can kick both your asses by myself. Oh! I'll let these guys do it for me. Oh, look at that. High society in there. Media Nova with a double backdrop. And they're clearing the ring. Danny Doring coming out to interrupt the festivities. And you gotta wonder if High Society was in on that too because they just sort of submarine Media Nova there. Well, apparently High Society gonna take on the Blue Median Supernova next week here on Steel City Wrestling. Wanted to get a few licks on in, in on them before that, but... And we are gonna crown new tag team champions next week on TV. It could be High Society or it could be Media Nova. 1998, Sunday, December 20th at 6 o'clock at the SCW Arena on Route 30 in Irwin. Steel City Wrestling says goodbye to one of its favorite stars, the Blue Meanie. Come see the Blue Meanie and Supernova team for the last time at the SCW Arena. That's Jingle Bra 98, 734-8454 for tickets and information. 6 o'clock. This one is gonna smoke. Jeff Gorman along with Don Montoya for Steel City Wrestling. We've got six of the best in there right now. This is what Steel City's all about right here, right now. Now these three guys that are getting ready to face High Society and Joey Matthews are what I believe to be the top light heavyweights in the business. I was trained by Reckless Youth. I trained alongside of Mike Quackenbush at his dojo. And I tell you right now, these guys are at the top of their game. And it looks like Mike Quackenbush is gonna start things off against Jimmy Cicero of the High Society side. And High Society has really bought up a lot of talent using all that money that they recently won. Well, they're gonna learn real quick that you can buy whatever you want, but there's no honor among thieves. And, and Jimmy Cicero better be careful because Mike Quackenbush uses a lot of style off of, off of Chush and Thunder Liger from New Japan Pro Wrestling. He uses that deadly palm strike. Oh, look at that, a kick to the face scene. Stuff that they use in Japanese that people really don't see in the States. But that palm strike that he does running off the ropes has won many titles for Chush and Thunder Liger, and I do believe it's gonna do the same for Mike Quackenbush. And we saw these six guys clobbering each other during that brawl that took place a while back. Everybody getting into the ring, including you breaking up the brawl with a baseball bat. Yeah. And there's some palm strikes right there by Quackenbush. Oh, look at that knee to the gut. Oh, hooking a modified Whoa. exploder suplex there. Modified exploder. That was that was incredible. That was that was something I think this were picked up actually from me when I wrestled him. And now we see Christian York make his way into the ring. Seems to be okay. I guess he hurt his knee during that brawl that we saw earlier. Yeah, I didn't get to see what happened, but when I hit that ring, I seen him clutching his knee, and I just hope that these guys don't go after it, because that could be the weak link of his, uh, of his of this team, the knee of Christian York. York locking up with Joey Matthews. They've had so many battles with the junior heavyweight title involved. And it's really interesting how the team of York, Reckless, and Quackenbush came together, all out of mutual respect from the three-way dances that they've had together. Uh, all three of these guys are phenomenal athletes, and they get together, and they have phenomenal matches, but now they're putting their efforts together, and they're combining to win titles and put a name on independent pro wrestling such as Steel City. Standing switch there by Joey Matthews as York goes in and gets the fireman's, fireman's carry. Beautiful fireman's carry, basic element of wrestling, the fireman's carry. And look at him going down to a wear down move to the arm. He's going to wear him down, and then he's going to beat him with the southern cross bomb. And we get a tag to Reckless Youth. Now look at Joey Matthews. He was smart. He backed away from the Reckless Youth. He didn't have to stay there. He pulled himself loose and got away. Smart wrestling by Joey Matthews. He's no dummy. And they're bringing in the biggest member of the High Society team to work on Reckless Youth. But we've seen that Reckless Youth can overcome just about any kind of size advantage. And he's got to be careful, though, because, because I give Tubal Carmichael his props. He's the crash, 
craftiest SOB in this sport. I still got a uh, score to settle with him. But see, look right there. Look how he got reckless off the house. He's just putting a boost when he's pounding him. Look at him. Cue ball pounding away. And a double shot right to the throat there. And that's one thing. Reckless Youth has been in the ring with a lot of junior heavyweights. He hasn't had too many heavyweights to go up against, except for you, actually. Yeah, we've had we've had several matches that people rave about. But, you know, Cue Ball's not me. He's not wrestling like me. Cue Ball's a brawler. He knows he doesn't wrestle for arm locks. He's going to punch it. There's an up and over. Big hip off by Reckless Youth. Big Whoa. hip off again. Oh, no way. Whoa. Jump kick. Whoa. <laughs> You can't fool Reckless that way. Now everybody's in there. It's a Donnie Brook. Here we go. It's breaking down. Here's six brawl. Referee Larry Pierce trying to get some kind of order, but he's not having much success. What's going to come about here? Double whip in on the high society guy. Double drop, drop kick. Christian's got Joey in the corner. He's got him in a headlock. I don't know what he's doing. There he goes. He's tossing him out. There goes cue ball. Uh-oh. They've, got, oh, they've out. got... They've got Joey. This is not good. Now it looks like... Uh-oh. Here we go. Reckless with a oh! beautiful somersault Pescado into the crowd. My word, did you start with suicidal? And those are the moves that have really put Reckless on the map. Now here comes Joey Matthews with the plot shot. Oh wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I think oh uh, Quackenbush is setting up for his I, I think he's I think he's gonna hit his corkscrew. He, he's watched many tapes of Hector Garza. Let's see. Here it comes. This is the setup. Double whip. Air oh! Quack! What Did I call it? Did I call it? That was beautiful. Quack needs a tag if he can make one. Double clothesline. Double clothesline. Both guys are down. Quack desperately needs a tag. And Cicero's going for his corner. Listen to the crowd get behind him. They are. And Hotshot Drew Lozario trying to get the fans behind High Society, but it's not working. Here comes Quackenbush to make a tag to Reckless Youth. And wait a minute. What's this? Ref didn't see it. And now the Intimidators, who are also High Society members, are they're kidnapping Reckless Youth. Oh, this is disgusting. Quack firing back. Here he goes. Hits the rope. And we're going to get... Line. Oh, double cross body. Oh, this is, that's one of the most dangerous spots in this match. You get hit like that. Knee to the face, ah. knee to the groin. You can seriously injure yourself with hitting a double cross body. These guys were both thinking on the same page. And they are both in trouble, but they're both looking Strong for a tag. tag. Christian, Christian, yeah! yeah! Christian York tags in. What, Who's he going to hit? On? What's going on? He's got Cicero. And what's this? What's he Checking doing? on Quackenbush here to see if he's okay. No! What is he doing? No. What is this? Southern Cross Bomb! What's his problem? What the hell is his problem? What? He's on what high is society he doing? team, Don. What is he doing? Oh, no. Oh, They've got You him. know what? I don't care. I don't care if I get suspended or not. But you know what? He's... I don't believe this. He's setting up Quackenbush. Quackenbush is out. And I don't care. I, I don't care. I'm okay, sorry. I don't blame you. There he goes. Super Frankensteiner sends Quackenbush flying. One, two, High Society wins it. Oh, man. The winners of the match, the team of High Society and Joey the Future Matthews. This was all a setup with the Intimidators taking out Reckless. And obviously, Christian York was in on it the entire time. And they took out Quackenbush. Christian York is on High Society. I can't believe it.